Hello, my name is David Ogolano, and for my final inquiry project of the year, I chose how has technology impacted the natural resources of the earth. One of the things that I wanted to learn about in my essential question is what is the difference between the technology that is available today and the technology that was there 100 years ago. I also wanted to learn about how it's affecting the earth and how come the demand for natural resources is very high all over the planet. My first and only question is what is technology when it comes to working with the planet? I chose this question to have a better definition of technology and to have a wider and better understanding of it. Technology is usually thought of, but it is not limited to things that have to do with computers and the transfer of electricity. Technology has changed over the years and over centuries, and I'll be talking about how it has changed over the different type of ages that humans have gone through. For my second underlying question, I chose what positive ways does it affect sustainability? The reason why I chose this question was to be able to understand that sustainability affects everything we do and it should be thought of in every aspect of our life and our daily things. In this blog, I'll be talking about the positive ways that sustainability is affected. For my third underlying question, I chose what are natural resources. I chose this question to be able to understand that natural resources are a huge part of my essential question and it is important that we understand what it attains to and what it does not influence. Natural resources are defined as anything that serves human needs and is extracted from the planet. There are two categories into which natural resources divide into renewable resource and non-renewable resources.
For the underlying question, I chose how can we reduce the amount of natural resources affecting the earth. This question is very important as it talks about not only knowing the problem, but having ways to stop it. There are many ways to stop this problem, but the main one that I'll be talking about this in this video is green technology. On the line of question I chose which natural resources are contributing towards global warming. I chose this question because it is important that we understand that not all natural resources are harming the planet. An example would be forests in which photosynthesis is done through them and the carbon in the atmosphere is absorbed. As the sun's rays reached the Earth's surface, some are absorbed and re-emitted as heat. Greenhouse gases such as water vapor and carbon dioxide absorb and re-radiate some of this heat. Increased amounts of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere mean more heat is trapped, warming the Earth. Human activities, especially the burning of fossil fuels, have increased concentrations of atmospheric carbon dioxide by 40%, mainly since 1900. Global average surface temperature has increased by 0.8 degrees Celsius over that time. Other changes to the climate in recent decades can be seen in the warming of the oceans, a rise in sea level, decreasing snow and ice cover in the northern hemisphere, and a decline in sea ice in the Arctic. If emissions continue unchecked, then further warming of 2.6 to 4.8 degrees Celsius would be expected by the end of this century. Even at the low end, this would have serious implications for human societies and the natural world. Conclusion, I feel like the technology that is available today has a bad impact upon natural resources. Reason why is because we are only taking natural resources that are non-renewable and they're affecting the planet, its samples will be fossil fuels in which it is causing global warming and later on climate change. Thank you very much for watching my in-group project and I hope you have a good day.